Captain Smith is seen just 10 months earlier on the occasion of the maiden voyage of the Olympic, which he also commanded. He was just 61 years of age and had a distinguished career. He's seen dressed in his summer whites. As White Star's most senior captain, he was reputedly the highest paid on the North Atlantic run. News began to spread around the world about the liner's sinking, and naturally many people crowded around the White Star Line offices in New York, London and Southampton, anxiously awaiting reports. These scenes are of the offices in Lower Broadway, New York, and whilst an employee attends to the cleanliness of the building, relatives desperately wait for news of loved ones. Many Americans were on board the ship that night, many would not return to their beloved country alive. The saviour in all this tragedy was the little Cunard liner Carpathia, which was on its way from Halifax to the Mediterranean at the time. Itself trapped in the ice flows off Newfoundland, the 13,000 ton ship risked all to get to the scene of the disaster. Altogether, the Carpathia rescued 705 passengers and crew from the Titanic's lifeboats as dawn broke on April the 15th. It took four and a half hours to get everyone on board for the three-day journey to New York. Ironically, the Cunard Line and the White Star Line merged a few years later. The Carpathia was sadly lost during the Second World War on active service. As the rescue ship steamed to New York, members of the press assembled to catch every storyline they could get. A certain amount of checkbook journalism, without doubt, took place. The Mary Scully was commandeered to meet the Carpathia off Long Island. The world was waiting for the real story, as up to now it was not clear how many had survived. Once the Carpathia had docked, the real scale of the disaster unfolded. Over 1,500 had gone down with the Titanic, including its captain and designer. The rescue ship attracted a good deal of attention that day. As well as the 705 extra passengers, it had over 700 passengers who had to contend with a journey back to America.